modular policy framework is a set of configuration rules that control many of the ASA's functions, such as the inspection engines, connection settings, TCP state bypass, TCP normalization, QoS policies, and IPS. NPF has many similarities to NQC, or modular QoS CLI syntax found in Cisco IOS, but there are, as we will see, some major differences in how the policies are processed, even though that the general structure is the same, meaning that we are going to be dealing with class maps, policy maps, and service policy commands. So a class map, this is where we will specify, identify the traffic, define what packets we want to take an action for. We can match packets using access lists, DSCP, IP precedence values, tunnel groups, and also the match port command, which is unique to the ASA. Then under the policy for those individual classes we have previously defined, we will be able to specify an action, which is going to be the, the actual feature controlled by the MPF, such as the inspection, selecting the inspection engine by using the inspect command, maybe setting up some connection settings, changing TCP normalization, options, enabling QoS, and finally specifying what packets we want to send to the IPS for deep packet inspection and what also what is going to be the mode of IPS deployment, so inline or promiscuous. And finally, once the policy map is defined, we are going to apply it. And two options we can apply the policy to is going to be an interface or so-called global application, which is going to be applying a policy to all interfaces in just one direction. Okay, now depending on where we apply our policy, so whether the policy is going to be applied globally or to the interface, this is going to ultimately affect the direction in which actions will be applied to the packets. With the global policy, all QoS features such as all outbound QoS features, such as priority queuing, the output policing, and shaping, they're always going to be applied egress, so in the outbound direction. For all other remaining features, they're always going to be applied ingress, so inbound. So as you can see with the global policy, technically speaking, we are applying the features in only one direction, but since we are going to do it on all interfaces, because the global policy is essentially working on all interfaces, it's like we are applying features bidirectionally. Versus on the interface, when we apply the policy to the interface, most features are going to be applied bidirectionally, with the exception of QoS features, which are always unidirectional. So input policing is going to be applied inbound. Outbound QoS features, they are always going to be applied outbound. All other features, inspections, connection settings, they are going to be applied bidirectionally, so in the ingress and egress direction. One of the most important topics when discussing MPF is going to be so-called order of operation for modular policy framework. And this is what makes up probably the biggest difference from regular MQC con QoS configuration seen on iOS. So the classes within the policy, they are generally speaking be also processed in a top-down fashion, but what action is going to be finally applied to the packet is not only going to depend on the order of classes in the policy. So there is a couple of different roles here, and the first one says that for overlapping classes, for overlapping class maps between the interface policy and the global policy, as long as the configured action type is the same, such as policing, only the interface policy action is going to be performed. So what it essentially means is that if we have two policies defined, one is going to be for the interface, one is going to be global, we're going to have some overlap between the classes in those policies. So policy map, let's call it IF, we're going to have a class FTP, and in the global, this is going to be the policy map GL, 
we're going to have a similar class. Let's call it FTP2. And there is going to be an overlap between those classes. So let's say that class FTP, it matches FTP packets sent to 1234 versus this class matches FTP packets sent to 12324. So this single device is an overlap between the classes. The interface policy went to the interface, such as outside. The global policy is applied globally, so to all interfaces. But then when there is a packet going to 1234 hitting the outside interface, we see the classes between the policies overlap and which action is going to be taken for the packet. Let's say that the action specified is police, 10,000 bits per second globally, 3,000 bits per second on the interface. So in this case, what's going to happen is that the interface level policy is going to take precedence. So this setting is going to be applied to packets, FTP packets going to 1, 2, 3, 4 over FTP. Obviously, if a packet was sent to 1, 2, 3, 5, we wouldn't have an overlap between the packets because only the packet would be only matched by the global policy. And uh, this limit would be applied to the packets going to 1, 2, FTP packets going to 1, 2, 3, but for overlap, interface policy is always going to take precedence. So this is the first rule we have on this list. 